stop playing, you stop stretching. And when you stop stretching, sitting in a car for two and a half, three hours, <laughs> you, you, you get could out have and a, a long effect. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you started with the no shoe strategy. I may go to back to with. it. Yeah, I went to the. Um, I tried the like the tennis shoe type thingies. Yeah, yeah. But um, one was too small, and so it just hurt my feet. No, I I, I play golf in high school and in college, so I I agree that the barefoot golf. I love the barefoot golf. You can't overswing. No. That's 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 the key. Is everybody tries to get out here and just swing for the fences, and the ball ends up, you know, off on I five. So just keep it in play. <laughs> nice nice tempo. Tempo. That's the you know. Got I got to make sure I, I I set my wrist at the top, and then tempo through. That's right. That's what I got. Keep it simple. Yeah. Um, I do. So now, are you you're regular at uh, at Josh's? I try to be. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I I love coming down and supporting Josh. That's that is. The reason I'm here. I mean, he is a wonderful guy. He does wonderful things, not only for the um, the community of Roseburg, but you know, for the entire state. He's a great ambassador of the Oregon football program and and, and of and of football players and and people in general. He's a wonderful person. I love to support him. Now, why why do you feel it's important to to come out and support this cause specifically? I mean, what I think is unique is unlike you know the bigger foundations, everything is going right back here in the community right. in Douglas County. Well, I. That's what's unique about Josh. I mean, that it's, you know, we all come out to support him because of the type of person he is. But the type of person he is leads to that type of work. You know, he's, he's local. He's an Oregonian. You know, I'm an Oregonian. I, you know, I, I try and do everything I can, you know, with my foundation in, in Portland and the state of Oregon as well. And so to be able to support a great guy like Josh, uh, who has similar values, similar, you know, ideas of improving this, this great state, I'm, I'm happy to be here for him. Now, in terms of this event, the Celebrity Golf Invitational, uh, we were talking about before, everybody has mentioned your name first as the guy to look out for on the golf course. Can you speak to that? And why it might be different this year? Yeah, five years ago, I'd agree with that. When uh, when we had no kids and I was living in Atlanta, playing golf just about every afternoon while my wife was working, um, not so much anymore. I got a four-year-old, I got a one-year-old, and this is the first time I picked up the sticks in about nine months. So uh, I'm gonna be a little rusty. I'm gonna be really, really rusty. If it's anything like it was in the driving range about five minutes ago, my team is in a lot of trouble. <laughs> um, another thing that I think is, is cool is there's former, current ducks and beavers, no civil war. Evanson said there may be some little side trash talking, but coming together, having fun for, for a great cause, and I think that's that's great. Yeah, other than me hitting golf balls at anybody in an orange shirt, it's, it's a wonderful atmosphere. And, um, you know, it, it's one that you, you know, you, you're out here supporting Josh, um, driving your golf cart through anybody with an orange shirt, and then if you miss them, then you take your golf clubs and you throw them at anybody in an orange shirt. Um, you know, but other than that, it's great. Did I mention the orange shirts? I don't, know. I don't think so. No, no. no.